So here we are, Friday morning, 8th of March. Our second video for Carp Quest 2013, the search for carp in Colorado. Today we're at Quail Lake, which is downtown Colorado Springs, right next to Tinsel Town, the cinema. This Quail Lake a couple of times last year had some success, caught about a dozen carp for seven or eight pounds. So hopefully we'll be able to get some fish on the bank today. We've got the rods set up. Hopefully they're not going to go swimming in the ice, in the water. Hangers are on. Got a bit more goodies down here with me today. I brought my little wheelbarrow. A little red buggy to haul my stuff in. And the chair. Tripod for the camera, the net set up. And today for the first time we've got the Mass Carp Cradle Deluxe set up. There it is, hopefully we'll be able to see a fish in there soon. That would be good. Alrighty, well, it's pretty chilly. I'm going to get myself a coffee and sit back and wait for the fish to come. Well, it's quarter past nine. Had the rods out for, what, 45 minutes or so? So far, nothing, but there's definitely some fish in the area. You know, I can see quite a few, it looks like trout, breaching the surface. Coming up, having a look around. So far, I haven't seen any carp. It's still pretty chilly. The sun was meant to come out later this morning, so... My hope is once the sun comes out, we're on the front side of the wind, maybe um, the carp will move into the area. Hey, that's the plan anyway. It's the problem really with fishing with corn. There's so many trout around, they just gobble it up. So another one. Surface to the right, more to the left. In the right spot for some fish, but whether it's the, the fish we're here looking for is another matter. So we finally managed to hook into a trout. There you go, Colorado rainbow trout. I'm not too happy to be caught, but hey, at least it's a fish in the net. We'll pull him back and see if we can get a carp. Well, it's 10.40. We just had another trout on the bank from a right hand rod. Rob was over there, just in front of that weed bed. I've been hounded by the trout all morning, really, so no surprise we've got another one. I've now cast out about 15 yards in front of that weed bed, trying to get a little bit of deeper water, and maybe we can keep away from the trout. It's like a big family of geese over there swimming across the lake I'm fairly happy big bunch of them flew in earlier crashed onto the water now they're just swimming around having fun oh we got a bite that one's a bit bigger, it's about 12 inches long We'll put him back. Alright, it's 10 to 11. I abandoned my other swim, which was over there basically. On that side of the lake. The problem I had was with all the ice and a little bit of warmth, basically it just turned into a mud pool. And the Lord's Doom was catching trout as well. Caught three trout from over there. 
hooked a few more that got off. So we set up again here. Here we are, other side of the lake. Now we shall see what we can get. Cast about maybe 30 yards, 40 yards out, slightly to the right over there, and slightly to the left over there. I have fished this side of the bank a couple of times, and that's typically the rains I catch the fish at. Well, it's half past 12. Still no carp. But we've still got a couple of hours yet. Got some coffee left. Plenty of cigarettes. Supposedly it's 50 degrees now, according to my phone. But there's a chilly wind blowing, so it certainly doesn't feel like it. One good thing about this swim, I suppose, is I've got that big log in front of me that I manoeuvred next to the um, saw. So now my pod's resting up against it, so there's no risk of it catapulting itself into the lake. So if we get a fish on. It's still fairly busy down here today. Probably about 15, 18 people fishing. There's a couple just to my left, but I think they finally gave up on left. And the people on the pier to my right are still there, which is unfortunate. So I don't have to be able to cast down in front of their pier. See over to the north there, the lake is still frozen. Slowly receding. Probably another week or two of reasonable weather and the ice will probably be gone completely off this lake. This has been kind of keeping me company for a while. I'm having a clean, pruning his feathers, or her feathers. A little bit of diving. There goes some of his buddies. That water's pretty cold, it's probably high thirties if that. The goose doesn't seem bothered. So they got plenty down. Keep it warm. So they're having a good wash at the moment. Oh, the right rod just went tearing off. Unfortunately, whatever it was, came off. Felt pretty good. So I reckon that was either a carp or a catfish. Unfortunately, we'll never know. So I bait it up again. Cast it back out. Uh, about there, I suppose 35 40 yards out again. Let's see if we can find some of his friends. But this is a good sign, finally had a run. I hate it when they come off though. Well, yet another trout. I really think I should have called my video Trout Quest Colorado. Well, it's 140. And we've just got another take. Probably another trout, vile little things. I was just about to say that I've got about one more cast of pack bait left. And one more cup of coffee. And we're probably going to be out of here. Well, five past two. Recast the right rod out. We're out of panko, so it's just jam packed full of corn on the hook. Probably cast out to where those geese are, maybe 60 yards out. Kind of a final Hail Mary corn to cast. We'll see if that does any good. Be 20 30 minutes or so, then we'll probably start packing up. 2.15, a Hail Mary almost worked, we had a fast take and run, but then whatever it was dropped it. Ah, what can I say? That's it for the coffee. Coffee's gone.
pack bite's gone and pretty soon I'll be gone. 225. It's not hooking anything today. You know, it's always frustrating when one gets away. You sit here trying to think, what was it? Why did it get off? Time to head home, get something to eat, and maybe have a rethink on the rigs. There's obviously something's not working. Anyway, take care.